Hi, y'all. This is Kurt James, and I'm here at the National Butterfly Center, and I'm here with Max Munoz, and he's going to go over with us the step-by-step -step directions on how to build your butterfly garden in your yard or in your RV park or resort. So where, where do you start? Well, first of all, you have to identify the area you're going to use. Uh, you have to see how big it is because depending on the size of your area is what plant you're going to use. Because we do have plants that can expand up to six feet and we have plants that can expand only 18 inches. Also, if it's an area that's going to be left alone when you travel back up north, you can actually put them in containers. You can have your own container garden and be able to travel with your, your plants. So that would also uh, tell us what size of a plant you can use. But you cannot have a butterfly uh, garden if you don't know the whole life cycle of the butterfly. Okay. So the first thing you got to understand is that you need certain plants for certain stages of the butterfly. So the itself. first stage, the first plant you're going to want is a host plant. Is exactly. That correct? So the give host, us some examples. The host plant is where where um, a butterfly will come in and lay its eggs. So let's say let's talk about monarchs. If you want a monarch to always be in your garden or to come in whenever they're migrating, you have to have the host plant, which is a milkweed. And every place in the in the U.S. has a different milkweed depending on how far up or how far south you are. And uh, the milkweed is the host plant where the butterfly will come and lay its eggs. These eggs will hatch, the caterpillars will eat the, the leaves, and then they'll form a, a, a J form or a chrysalis. And that's where you need some kind of structure or even a wall to uh, allow the caterpillar to feel safe and create its chrysalis. Okay. It'll hatch from there and then go into a uh, the adult stage, which is the, the butterfly. Okay. So then you're gonna need the nectar source because butterflies need all that energy. They need the nectar from the plants. I guess I'll see a butterfly right away. Yeah, you'll start seeing butterflies right away, but uh, depending on what you wanna see. Okay. If you come to me and say, I would like to see monarchs, then we have to go with their migration. Okay. If you come to me and say, I would like to see queens, then there's a possibility that within a, a month of you planting them, you'll start seeing them there. And, and they'll be here year round. The one thing that's great about visiting the National Butterfly Center here in Mission is that you actually sell the the, the host plants and the nectar plants the plant. so they can get them started. Exactly. And and like I said, it all depends on the size of the area because you don't want to put just one in one. Because if you have one single host plant and it gets covered in caterpillars, it's going to devour it and you're going to have starving caterpillars. So depending on the size, we can recommend a certain plant that you can put several Okay. to be able to feed several caterpillars. And I noticed the gardens here at the, the center are really kind of bunched up uh -huh. now is it better to to do patches throughout a, an area if you've got the space on on uh, when it comes to to caterpillars bunched up is a lot better because it sort of protects them from the you know surroundings the birds um, and bird, the natural exactly. predators um they'll go into the darker end, ends of it and you know you won't really see them okay. so if you have one particular fan out there you're practically putting them out to to be seen by everything okay now this month itself, we've seen over 87 species. Okay. Okay. When normally uh, the number, the highest number of species would be about around 340. Okay. But uh, for it to be um, early fall, 87 is really good. Okay. You know, uh, we can hit up over 120 species in one day. Oh wow. During uh, November. Okay. And uh, any time around that, you know. Okay. And if we don't have a winter, we can go all the way to February. On. Well, there you go. It's just that simple. So if you want to get started with your butterfly garden, come out here to the National Butterfly Center and you can ask Max any question you might have and he'll get you going. But it's just that simple. And just think of what you're doing for our environment. Think of what you're doing to actually attract more butterflies down here to the Rio Grande Valley, because that's what we need.